Hi guys, this is Jolt. In today's video we are going to check out an electric car charger. Let's kick it. Okay, obviously that was just a joke. So we are going to check out today the... and I'm about to murder the name of the company. It's either Tainu, Tainu... The point being, uh, it's an electric car charger, which I received from the manufacturer directly. And uh, we are going to open the box, see what is inside. Then I will tell you later on a few more things about it, what you should know about the product. And we will plug it into the car and we are about to charge the car. Uh, by the way, it is going to be my car, the 39 kilowatt hour battery pack um, Hyundai or Hyundai Kona Electric from 20, 2021. It was manufactured in 2020, but um, first time officially it was um, released on the road um, in 2021. So let's roll. Alright, boys and girls, obviously there was the charger itself, a console, a wall mount console um, with some wall plugs and screws, some rainforest in English and uh, Brazilian Portuguese, and also, also, also a carry bag. It's a nice looking carry bag. Okay, for the first sight, it looks massive. I cannot bend the material, so it's a very sturdy strong plastic. It has a small display. We will plug it in and see how it operates. What I can see right away that the cable quality is very good. It has the tooth certificate or the tooth logo on it. Um, also the charger connector. Uh, it has the tooth certificate here and also the CE mark. So all in all in general so far I'm I'm happy with the quality that I see. Uh, we'll see how it works. Okay, now as I plugged it in, there is a little info display. It shows the temperature, 28 degrees on the inside of the device. Um, 232 and a half ish volts. Uh, the current power is 0 0.02 ampere. The power is 0 watts. Obviously it doesn't show how much we charge because it's not plugged into the car and the same with the duration. There is a button on it, this one. If I press it once, short, then it goes to another setting or config display. First is the information with some software version then I whoops I went a bit over so let's get back so I go to set the current I need to press it long and again I went over let me just get out and so we are on the info screen with some software version, then if I want to set the current, I just need to go to that menu with the button pressed once. It is switching in between. It's rather sensitive. So now I press it long. Now it shows 16 ampere, 8, 10, 13. And somehow I managed to set it to 13, but let me just set it back to 16. Okay, 
So let's have a look at the information screen. I tried to get it as close as possible, so maybe you can even see something. So the temperature shows 29 degrees and slowly, slowly it's uh, climbing. Then 225 volts, 14.8990 amperes, um, 3117, 16, 14 all around watts. Um, the amount of kilowatt hours charged is not showing yet, but we will have a look at it later on and the duration is two minutes, something getting close to three minutes. Okay, let's have a look at after like around a half an hour, what sort of temperatures we can measure. Okay, let's see some details, temperature and so on. So what I can read from the screen is 17.46 uh, kilowatt hour was charged uh, in five hours, 24 minutes. The power is now 3145 watts, 14.76 ampere, 228 volts. And the temperature is higher, just a tiny bit, 30. 3.67 but let's check with the thermometer Okay, as mentioned earlier, it has a carry bag, so let's chuck it in and see how it looks like. It, an, it is a nice looking backpack style bag. Uh, on the two sides of it, it has like a netted drink holder. On the front there is a zipped pocket and on the inside there is also another zip pocket but that's a flat one, a smaller one. Yeah, I think it's a fine little carry case.
Okay, let's see the delayed charging. I try to set it up for five minutes. Uh, obviously, you should not have the car plugged in yet uh, because once you plug it in, it starts to charge. So before uh, you want to uh, set it up to have a delay in the charging, at the start of the charging, make sure the car is unplugged yet. Okay, it looks like with the uh, Hyundai Kona it doesn't want to do this delayed charging because actually it seems like on the car's side at the plug, uh, it let's say it goes in a sleep mode. So even though it's plugged in, um, it doesn't start to charge when the timer is up. Okay, boys and girls, so let's sum it up. This was the Tainu, Tainu, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Most probably I murdered the pronunciation big time, but that's not the point. Um, the exact model will be anyway in the title and in the description. What can I tell you about? I really like the build quality. It has really strong plastics and also all the cables feel very much quality. Um, not some sort of cheap, um, I don't know, counterfeit material, especially this part of the cable um, that comes out towards the car uh, that connects to the plug. Um, this one, it's full of TÜV signs or certificates. The certificate is here also on the plug um, and it really feels like a, a quality material. I cannot fault it. I've I've seen that it's waterproof. I haven't tried it outside because there was no rain and I didn't want to start to splash the water around. Um, but I believe it is waterproof. It, it looks like very much sealed. And um, why, wouldn't I, why would I not believe it? Also, um, I've seen a video where someone drove over this with a car. Now I wouldn't do it, but that survived. Um, it, it is really like a, a strong material end. As far as I know, it's made of uh, TPU, so it's like somewhat um, flame or fire retardant up to a point. Other than that, uh, the only thing I didn't like is the button, this touch button. I would rather have a button that I can hear or feel that I pressed because of my sausage fingers, I suppose. For me, it's a hit and miss. Sometimes when I press it, it does what I want to, sometimes uh, it does something completely different. So when I press it short, it detects that I pressed it long, or when I press it long, it detects it, I pressed it short. But again, as I said, sausage fingers, most probably. Um, there was one more issue with it, but again, I wouldn't fold the device for it. I think it's something to do with the car. When I wanted to show you the delayed charging, I couldn't because after a couple of minutes, like two minutes or so, at the car side, um, the lights and everything went completely blank and um, 
even though the device was showing that the car is plugged in, because it established the connection to it initially, but when the five minutes um, were up, then somehow it couldn't initiate the charge. So I'm not sure, as I said, most probably it's something to do with the car itself. Fingers crossed. Um, other than that, it's all good. Um, this one is 16 amp single phase. You can get the free phase version uh, that goes all the way up to 32 amps. And uh, I will have a, a link in the description, in the video's description, where you can buy it. If you would like to have one, I can hard, highly recommend it. Uh, it's really good. What I like, uh, we measure the temperature with a the thermometer, not just by feel or like gut feeling. And even by the touch, and it was confirmed by the thermometer, it is not warming up at all. And uh, compared to my factory Hyundai or Hyundai charger, this one is cooler. And that one, the Hyundai charger is 12 amps and it's considerably warmer. It's not hot, but um, it is definitely warmer. When I touch the plug at the connector side, this one is absolutely cool. I couldn't feel any difference. When I touch the one that came with the car, the factory Hyundai one, then I can feel it warmer. Um, same with the cable at both sides on the factory one. Here, even the cables are cool, let's say. Um, so it's not warmer at all. Also, it's faster because this one was charging like 3. Point something, 3.3 kilowatts, uh, kilowatt hours, sorry. And uh, the factory one is charging like 2.225 maximum, but I don't, don't think it went even to five. Point being, I can save a third of the charging time with this one compared to my factory charger. And um, yeah, normally what I do when I come home, I plug the car in. Uh, when I come home with the kids from the school, I plug the car in because usually I don't use it in the afternoons. And um, it is charged by the morning when I finish in the morning. It, um, I mean, when it is finishing in the morning, then it's all 100%. Um, with this one, I could save a third of the time. So even if I forget to plug it in when I come home in the afternoon, if I realize it in the evening, well, not in the middle of the night, but in the evening, and I plug it in, it is still going to be 100% in the morning. Um, usually I charge the car once, um, once a week, so not every day. And um, what else? The carry case, I also really liked it. It looks like a good quality one and uh, convenient. And car, I mentioned the issue with the car and the delay charging. Otherwise, the limited time charging were just fine. Um, the display, I told you, the button, I told you, uh, the material, I told you. Yeah, so it, it provides all the information on screen that I want to know when I charge the car. I don't need any further information than that. Ooh, before I forget, uh, it comes with two years warranty and lifetime support. Whose lifetime it is, I don't know, but um, that's the official version. So two years warranty and lifetime support. As I said, link in the description. I can hands on heart recommend. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of my upcoming videos. I'd like to say a big thank you for your time and catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.